Let's make Newton's beads, also known as a chain fountain. I'll fountain your chains if you know what I mean. <laughs> Welcome to Destructive Creativity! Where science and fun mean the same thing! That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like that matters. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you subscribe so that you can be awesome! Let's show them the effect! Sure thing! Great. Now I have to clean that up. Okay, so I finally got all of my beads back into my container. It took a really long time. Yeah, at the end we're going to show you a quick and really easy way to put the beads back. You will definitely want to use that if you try this yourself. Uh, it's a real time saver. So what are we doing? We are exploring the mysterious effect of Newton's beads, also known as chain fountain, also known as the mold effect, also known as the salt lamp of death. Yeah, all but the last one. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> the materials that we are using are simply a glass container and a very long string of beads. A hundred feet of beads, actually. You don't need a glass container, but we are just so you can see the beads as they're being pulled out of it. All you have to do is lift it up off the ground and pull one end. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> Yeah, so this is really cool, but why does it go up before it goes down? The answer is surprisingly simple. It's magic, dark magic, from an elf that lives in my garbage. You want to see him? Keep him right here. See? Oh, hello, thank you. I'm an elf. Speaking of elves, there's... That is not correct. Oh. Okay, well fine. I'm going to play with this. Why don't you tell them the way that you think it works? And uh, I'll just have fun over here. With pleasure. The secret behind this gravity-defying chain is surprisingly complex. We load potential energy into the beads by lifting them off the ground. We'll call that gravity-stored energy. The key is to turn this potential or stored energy into kinetic or motion energy. As soon as the beads start to move, they will travel at the speed of the energy imparted to it by gravity. So the higher the fall, the faster the beads will move. Here's the cool part. The gravity-defying arc that is produced is caused specifically because this is a ball chain. A rope wouldn't do this. Ball chains like this are created with a series of balls and rods stuck together. It is the act of moving a stationary rod connected to a ball on each side from stationary to a state of movement that creates a minuscule bounce as it takes up whatever slack is available. This is multiplied on every single link and the effect is the chain is pushed upwards before the gravitational force is able to counteract this amazing phenomenon. Wow, thanks for that. Or, you know, I'm just spitballing here. It's an elf. Or it's a garbage elf. Well, now it's your turn. You have to let us know whether you think it's an elf or physics, and then we can finally get to the truth of the matter. Science is not democratic. Well, there's no reason to think it's socialistic. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more videos weekly. The bloopers are coming up, but first, we'll show you the quick and easy way to put all these beads back in the jar. You won't want to miss it. The most important part of this is to have something to catch the beads when they fall on the ground. So we'll just let these fall right now. Okay. So, because you've caught it on a piece of foam board, and you can use any, even a piece of paper, you just switch them. So now, the pile goes up top there, and the container goes on the ground. Then you take the end that just fell, 
and you have one hand up top and one hand about halfway down. Then try and go in a circular motion so that nothing gets tangled up. And just like that, you've reset your beads. Welcome. <laughs> don't you're not welcome. Get out of here. <laughs> We don't want That's my life! <laughs> Speaking of elves... That is not correct. Guess what this guy's favorite music is? Rap music. <laughs> I stole him from Santa. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you get gravy! <laughs> Keep going. Ah, we can... <laughs> Smooth this out. <laughs> Gravity is the world's biggest prankster. He's always trying to pull down your pants. <laughs> what? Gotta watch out for him! <laughs> Woo! Yes. <laughs>